Hey guys, Casey Foster from NetcodeGuides.com um, bringing you another video of the guide that uh, we have made called CSGO Tips. Um, we've got a few videos as a part of this guide um, and there's a few things that actually needed a video so I made them. Um, the part of this video is called Mastering Your Spot or Your Role um, your gun kind of all goes hand in hand. So what I mean by gun is, you know, if you're a rifle or if you're not, or if you're a hybrid, um, and you know, some people tend to stick to one or the other. Um, I strictly rifle. I'm horrible with the op. I don't really know how I'm so bad with it, but I am. Anyway, um, the main focus of this video is called mastering your spot. And what I want to talk about is a lot of people you know, getting into CS, they kind of just roam around any spot they want. They just go B one round, they go A one round, they go mid one round, they go A in a different spot, whatever it may be. You know, if that's what you want to do, great. But if you want to be more successful, you want to get, you want to master spots on maps. So if you watch a pro match, you'll see Flesha or JW or uh, Taz or whoever. They go to the same spots every single round on the same map pretty much, you know, 16, 16 rounds in a row, or sorry, you know, every round in the match, they go to the same spot. And the reason they do this is not just because it's the spot that they play. They play that because they're, they're the best at that spot. They're the best on their team or their best position is that position. So I just want to talk a little bit about your play in um, conjunction with this. So as a Counter-Strike player, playing you know for, for example you're you're the you're an a site player you want to master playing the spot uh, for example i play under balcony or you know the a site on mirage and i tend to play this kind of spot a lot um you see a lot of pro players they kind of just play this angle here and then they have a flash and they come out a ramp and they just throw it off this and they dodge it and then peek with the flash and wait till they're flash you know these guys are going to be blind here they're going to be blind here um and that's a very common play. Now, knowing just certain smokes and flashes, it's great and all, but the reason that you need to master your spot is so that you know the exact times to throw these flashes. You know, say you hear somebody like running like right here, you know, you hear them in this area, you know, they're, they may be running up to bait your flash or they may be fully running out, but either way, you need to be, you know, quick enough with your grenades or your timing to know how much time you have to peek out to fight these guys or, you know, say they're out ramp. Um, you know, you can drop a smoke like this and just play back off the smoke and it, it covers you from all these bad guys over here. And if somebody's going to come out of palace, you know, you're not going to get free fragged or you're not going to get shot at by uh, two guys at the same time. Um, obviously these are just examples, but all of these things are things that you need to do, know how to do to counter every situation for that spot. It's really hard to know the exact play to do versus every single play that the terrorists do. Like, you know, when they're coming out of a ramp, they're coming out of palace. It's hard to know the counter for every single one of those plays throughout the entire map. So that's why we tell people just stick to one spot and master that spot. Get fucking amazing at that spot. So anything they do, you're going to destroy them. You know, you may not win the round every single time, but you're going to get a kill. You're potentially going to get two kills. You may kill all of them, but you're you're going to be the best at that spot that you could possibly be. And the only way you're going to do that is by mastering your spot. So knowing exactly, you know, what angles you can hide from, where you can rotate back to without exposing yourself to all the spots at the same time. Um, you know, knowing which angles you have the advantages, knowing which angles you um, react well to, like knowing which, like I personally don't, I'm not very good at this fight right here, but I'm really good at this fight. But for some reason, taking this fight, I'm not the best at. So I know that I don't peek this anymore. If I do, I'll throw a nade or a flash over that, and then I'll peek with it. Um, or I'll throw a fake smoke or something, but I'll just I'll wide peek them. I never take this fight anymore because I don't land the shot well. So knowing the limitations of your own game, but also knowing the limitations of the game and knowing the counters for everything that the bad guys do, you have a counter for it. And if you could pick a spot on every map and you go there every single round and you practice it every single time you play a game, you're only going to get better at that spot. And you're going to excel faster at improving at that one spot than if you were to run around and you play A one round and B one round and Cat one round, you're not going to be improving at all of those spots at the same pace that you would be improving at playing one spot. So 
play the same spot, you know, learn the best smokes and flashes to, to, to be successful in that spot. And, you know, if one thing doesn't work, you know, try another. And, you know, if you keep, if you, if everything you're trying isn't working, you know, try it a little different. Maybe go check out the, the we have premium videos, you know, showing people how to play every spot on, you know, on, on every map pretty much. And we have good flashes and smokes and angles and times and plays that you can do in all of these um, situations. And, there to help you guys succeed. So keep that in mind. Um, you know, when you're playing CS, master your spot, master your role, and you'll be a much more successful CS player. Anyway, that was Casey Foster. Thanks, guys.